Hello everyone, welcome to Crackle Hits in Cloud. Let's have a look at how to create a payroll. Let's go to the username, setup and maintenance, task area, implementation projects, choose your project, and search for the task payroll definitions. Once the task. Click on create new and pick your legislative group. So let's pick GB Legislative Data Group. We can continue. And give a name for the payroll. So let's say WUK Monthly Payroll. Give the same as the reporting name. And consolidation group. Let's have a look. The, the, yeah. UK Consolidation Group, I'll put that one. Here the type, monthly calendar, ledger, and um, have a look, and if you want to allow neg negative payments, select that one. First period end date, because it's a monthly one, I need to choose I'm going to choose the last day in June. The default payment method, I'm going to do as cash for the time being. And therefore, let's have a look at what we could do on additional information. So click on uh, plus sign to give valid payment methods. Then we're going to choose the organization payment method, which is BMW Sheffield Bank Transfer. OK, click on Next. Let's have a look at the payroll offsets. How long do you want to schedule it for? Do you want to do the payroll for two year, five year, ten year? Let's do it for two year. And uh, when it's close to the time, we can always come back here and change it. And do you want to do it for fixed dates or without any fixed dates. So let's have a quick look at the fixed dates. So you can specifically say, okay, 30th of June is a cutoff date or like that. You can specifically say which date you want to run these things. Okay. Or you can say payroll uh, planned submission date. You can say a day before end of period. So that's going to happen on the 29th. End of period is 30th, so it's going to happen on the 29th. Uh, cut off date two days before, so that's going to happen on the 28th. Or when you want to do the pay slip, pay slip we will do the same day. So let's on on the period end date you can do it, and when when the date paid date paid you could do it as after. End date. So you could do all, all the settings here uh, as per the company requirements. So let's click on next. So that will generate every single payroll period for next two years. So as you could see, it has listed every single payroll period. Okay, so click on next. So now let's look at the costing of payroll. There are four segments enabled in the cost allocation key flex field at the payroll level. Company, line of business, cost center, and intercompany. These values will be provided by the financial consultant, so we don't have to worry too much about it. For instance, um, 
this particular payroll, is it going to deal with employees from only one company or from uh, multiple companies if it's a if it's a global enterprise or which course and they're gonna fund these wages so these kind of details will be provided by the financial consultant let's click on next and uh, we can review what all details we provided and the settings and so So that's how we do a payroll. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.